I'm Ross Clark from Trees Impact. Photosynthesis is the process by which leaves convert sunlight into plant food or photosynthates. And the amount of photosynthates that a tree can produce is a function of how much sunlight those leaves are exposed to, how healthy those leaves are, and how many leaves there are on a tree at any given time. For leaves to be able to produce photosynthates, they must be exposed to light. And that means that the trees must be grown at very wide spacing so that all of the foliage from the top of the tree all the way through to the bottom of the crown, all of those leaves are actually exposed to that sunlight. If they're not exposed to sunlight, they then will be shaded and they can't function nearly so effectively. A major problem through many of our growers throughout Australia is that because trees are grown at very close spacings, the lower parts of the crown are actually shaded by the upper parts of the crown, and a lot of our species here in this country are quite shade intolerant, and that foliage is often lost. It dies back and falls off, which means that we wind up with a very, very limited crown depth due to that crowding. For the leaves to be able to photosynthesize properly, they need to be healthy. That means they need plenty of sunlight. It also means they need plenty of water and nutrients to be, to be provided to the tree while it's actually growing during its time in the nursery. Finally, for a tree to be able to photosynthesize well, it needs plenty of leaves. And what that means is it needs to have leaves for a fairly large percentage of its total height. Now, as a general rule of thumb, the clean stem height, in other words, that part of the stem from which the foliage has been removed, should not exceed about 30 or 40 percent at the total tree height. Or to put it another way, the depth of the crown should, or should equal 60 to 70 percent at the total tree height to make sure there are enough leaves to, to do the job. Photosynthates are produced in the leaves and they then move down through the twigs, down the branches, down the stem and eventually into the root systems. So if we to have insufficient foliage or foliage on only the top part of the tree, what happens is that those photosynthates run out. In other words, they'll move down those branches into the stem, but they'll be, they'll be taken up by the stem to produce the woody tissues in the top part of the stem only. And that means there's nothing left to create the flare at the base of the stem, the increased stem caliper, caliper and the root systems in the root ball healthy and produce enough photosynthates to support the crown, the stems and the roots, then they must be grown at very wide spacings, they must be fed and watered well so they're healthy, and the crowns cannot be lifted too high so that we have plenty of depth in that crown. 